Why is oregano oil so good for you? Well, I'm going to tell you all about that. I'm going to tell you about this oregano oil, how it's used, why it's so good, why you need to know more about it uh, a little bit later. But first, I just want to, you know, give you the disclaimer. I'm not a doctor. Any kind of thing that you're taking in your body or using for your health, you should consult with your, uh, your health care uh, expert in your life and um, anything you hear on the internet is just anecdotal. It's just the story of that person's life and their experience. And that's all I'm sharing with you now. So you should take all the responsibility and talk to your doctor about what you're going to be taking. But let me tell you about my own experience with oregano oil. I was on a trip to Israel. I was on a bus and um, you know we had all traveled from the US over there and everyone was feeling kind of nobody slept very well on the long flight 11 hours and everyone was kind of feeling not so great and this guy is telling me about oregano oil and I, I thought what is this this is strange you know these essential oils and he said um, oh yeah it's great he was telling me all these things that it's good for and he said it's good for uh, you know stopping colds, uh, helping with any kind of sore throat, and this long list of things and how it works because, and it, it turns out to be true, because in, in oregano oil there are all these chemicals, they're natural chemicals that come from the oregano, um, and this is not just oregano, you can't make this with the oregano you buy at the supermarket. This is a special type of oregano that grows in Greece or Turkey in the, in the Mediterranean. They distill it, they concentrate it, and they get this essential oil out of it. And in these essential oils are all these natural chemicals. And they've found when they do laboratory tests, these chemicals kill off all of the bad stuff. E. coli and this, I saw this whole list of diseases that it kills off that you can get from like uh, food poisoning and all different things, but it doesn't hurt our stomach. It doesn't hurt any of the natural stuff that's inside our bodies. So it's great, right? And it's, but you might sound skeptical. It might sound skeptical and you think, well, that's just oregano though. They have that on pizza and Italian food and different things. So anyway, um, he's telling us this whole thing and he has like a little dropper and uh, I was starting to feel a sore throat on the trip. And I said that to him. I said, hey, you know, just not for nothing, but I'm starting to feel a little bit of a sore throat. He said, oh, no problem. Open your mouth and I'll show you. So the way he was explaining is you just put a drop underneath your tongue and then you keep it in your mouth for a minute. It's kind of spicy and like picante. And then it, so it makes you get like saliva in your mouth and then you just swallow it all down. So he said, all right, do it. So I opened my mouth. He gave me this one drop, put it in there. I just followed his directions one minute, kept it in my mouth. I slowly swallowed it. And I'm telling you, after that, the sore throat, it was just starting to be a sore throat, but it was gone and I felt great for the whole rest of the trip. Well, anyway, I've been using this now for over 20 years. Um, and I'm going to include underneath the uh, video, the link to the, uh, the Amazon um, uh, product. It's it's actually, you cannot take oregano oil pure. Uh, I guess you could, but I don't know what would happen to you. It's so strong it would burn your mouth more than um, spicy peppers. You have to take it diluted, so you need to be careful with it. But anyway, the link that I'm going to uh, share with you is to the diluted product. It's 25%, you know, one-fourth oregano oil. The rest is extra virgin olive oil. That's how you take it. It's still spicy like that, believe me. You take one or two drops and it is very spicy and usually it makes you cough when you swallow it. That's how you know it's good. Now, I'm also gonna include a link to uh, the same thing but in a, a like a capsule or a gel cap form. Some people prefer to take it that way, that way you don't have to taste it. I like to feel that it's, going, it's all in my mouth, killing all the germs in my mouth and then down my throat too. People use this for so many reasons, to avoid colds, uh, to try to yeah to try to nip a cold in the in the butt and for um, you can read all the different things that you could use it for but like if you if you feel like you've had maybe a little bit of food poisoning you ate something and then you're thinking ah oh, that maybe that was sitting out on the counter too long and uh, or overnight maybe I shouldn't have eaten that. Or people who, you hear about a lot of people who travel to other countries where they're not sure about the little bugs that are in their food. I mean like different types of bacteria. You know, from country to country you can get a little, uh, I've experienced myself living in Latin America and different places. Um, this comes really in handy to control that. You can do that. I've heard of people who they'll just take one of the gel caps 
one every day during their trip in some country where they're worried about uh, the things that might be in the food. And they've had great experiences for the most part. I've taken it that way, but I like to take it the liquid way. You just take one drop and you're good, one or two drops. You get used to it after a while, after you've been using it. At first though, it is kind of spicy. Uh, anyway, it's great for cold, I think it's great for colds. But again, this is just my experience. You need to talk to your healthcare uh, provider to um, for anything that you might take that's regarding your health. Please look for the links under the video. Uh, I'm a, uh, an Amazon associate, so I uh, can benefit and earn some income from uh, some of the uh, qualifying purchases. So um, uh, I'll include the two links there. One for the Now uh, Foods. There's a lot of different brands, but I really like this brand. Uh, it's got it, the price and the quality of their laboratories. They make really good products in general, Now Foods. And um, they uh, and the prices are really good. But the gel, the, they have their own gel caps. But I'm going to include another one that I found that I thought was a good price and a good um, good quality. So uh, I hope this helps you out in your in whatever your situation is. Uh, have a great day.